Welcome to Photo Vibrance. My name is Arthur Wayno, and I will be your guide today on this tutorial. Today, we're going to be focusing on using some of the effects, uh, in particular the sky uh, effect and masking. And let's go ahead and jump right into that. So first, let's go ahead and select an image. Now, I want you to think about the type of things that you can use for like replacing the sky. Um, things that I kind of think about are maybe a real estate ad with a house and the sky moving in the background. Uh, it seems pretty easy. Um, another use case would probably be something for like gyms. Maybe I can find a photo of somebody running and then have the sky moving in the background because we can always overlay the text on top of that and uh, go ahead and customize it for each of the individual people that we're trying to sell it to. So let's go ahead and start with a house. So I'm just gonna type in house and we're just gonna select one of the first ones here. We're gonna go ahead and select this one. There we go. Now, obviously it's uh, this photo that we selected is um, not ideal for a square or vertical because most of the house is gonna be chopped off. So we're gonna go ahead and leave it as a landscape. We're gonna click next. And let's go ahead and jump into the effects. So now you can see that there's three tabs here. There's overlays, effects, and skies. We're gonna click on the skies tab. And they have multiple different skies that you can select from. We obviously aren't gonna select any of the nighttime ones. I mean, you can, it's gonna make the photo a little bit dark, um, but I kind of like these ones because they're moving fast. There's a lot of movement, especially when you're posting this on social media, uh, you want something that's gonna catch the eye. So you can select any of these that you like. I'm gonna go ahead and select this one with the clouds moving back and the clouds above there moving forward. As you can see, it covers the entire image of the house. So what we need to do is we need to draw a mask so it reveals the house through the cloud, um, through the clouds moving. So we're gonna click on draw a mask. And what, we, what you see here is that uh, this red circle is uh, going to reveal all the sky wherever this red is uh, covering. So to make this a little bit faster, you'll notice that there's a pencil size here. You can make this bigger so we can cover more area. What you want to do is you want to get it as close to the house as possible, and then we can fine tune it later. Oops, as you can see, I went over a little bit of the house. That's okay. We can click on this tab right here where it says erase mask and we get the opposite effect. We can erase our mistake. So let's go ahead and continue drawing the mask. As you can see, I'm just getting it to as close to the edge as possible. And then we're gonna go in and fine tune this so that it looks real good. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. Make our pencil size a little bit smaller. And this doesn't need to be perfect. Like I said, if you make a mistake, you can always click erase mask. So I can reveal the edge right here. Reveal this edge right here. Edge of the house right there. Obviously working with the mouse, it's a little bit tough to get exact. Where the tree is covered. I'll erase part of that. So we don't want the sky over the over the tree. Let's 
Let's grab our image and pull it over, see what we missed. Looks like we missed a lot, because as you can see, the sky is going over the house a little bit there. So let's finish off. This part. Zoom in. go again you don't want the mask to be on the edge of the house so you just want to get it as close as possible and we can leave a little bit of the sky above the house that's fine Finish up our, our touches. Okay, so now that we got most of the masking done, uh, we can click play, play to preview it. As you can see, there's hard lines, but we're gonna go ahead and fix that now, and I'm gonna show you how to fix this. Oh, there's a spot we missed right there. Click finish. Now, you'll notice the, the hard lines. We're gonna go ahead and fix those right now because obviously this does not look good at all. There's an option here called edge fading and in other programs, this is called feathering. It's pretty much the same thing and what it's gonna do is uh, blur the edges of these hard lines so that it's gonna give this house a glow. There you go, look at that. All right, perfect. So now the masking is complete. You can go ahead and render this out if you'd like, or you can continue editing uh, and save this as a template for future use. Um, like I said, this would be probably ideal for uh, if you were prospecting realtors and you're trying to sell your services to them and you want to do something quick uh, and easy just to get their attention. Uh, one way you can do that is by going and grabbing um, their image off of their website or um, one of their social media ads and you can uh, remove the background and you can pop them right in here. So I went ahead and did that. I went ahead and grabbed a Pexels uh, photo of a guy in a suit, a businessman in a suit, and I'm gonna go ahead and, and just import him. I already removed the background in interest of saving time. So say this is our realtor. We're trying to get his attention to possibly create some video ads for him. So let's go ahead and spice this up a little bit more. Um, most of the real estate ads, they have some text and possibly uh, a price of the house. We'll do a circle. Let's go ahead and move this behind the realtor. So we're gonna go ahead and show layers. And we're gonna move the shape behind the gentleman there. Go ahead and select a darker color, like so. Make this a little bit bigger.
and then we can add some text. We want to make this bold because again, this is going on to social media. Um, we want it to pop and really stand out. Size that and get it in there. Since this is going on social media, a lot of times what you want to do is you want to add a call to action, have them either comment below or click something. So we're going to just put comment below for details. Can okay, go ahead and center that, make it bold. Make sure our Oswald font is selected. And we're going to resize it. And we can go ahead and even put the price in here if we want. Or you can put a phone number. If you already know the realtor's name, you can even actually put that right here. Contact uh, Joe below for details. Anything. This is complete. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and have this text animated and have possibly something else right here, you can go ahead and render out the video that you had before and take it into Create Studio to add those animations. Uh, and save it as a template inside there as well. And there you go. Today, folks, what we learned is how to use some of the effects within Photo Vibrance, uh, drawing a mask to reveal the sky, a ray scan mask, and edge fading to make everything all congruent and look pretty. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you on the next one.